What's going on Scorpio? I hope you are doing very well. This is the Autistic Mystic and this is going to be a reading for March 21st to the 27th, 2022. So in this reading Scorpio, we are going to take a look at your overall general energy for the upcoming week. We're going to take a look at some things that you don't see coming for the upcoming week and we're also going to get some advice and messages from your angels and spirit guides. So you are all definitely very welcome here in this space with me, Scorpio, as we go through this reading. I appreciate you greatly taking the time to check out the reading. And if you find that this reading resonates with you, Scorpio, definitely smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into your reading for the 21st to the 27th, March 2022. Give me a moment and we'll see what wants to come through. As always, I would like to thank the angels, the interdimensional beings, and the spirit guides who are overseeing this act of divination for Scorpio. All right, Scorpio, let's go ahead and see what we got going on here for you. Whoa. Money on your mind a little bit, Scorpio. <clears throat> okay. All right. So... Uh, Scorpio, very interesting energy that we got coming on here for you. Um, so your opportunity this week is the Eight of Cups, and your challenge is the Ace of Pentacles. So we're going to clarify those in a moment to see what they really mean. But um, as we see in your reading here, you have a lot of pentacles going on. So maybe something going on with your career or getting money, working hard this week. Um, but we start off here in your overall general energy. We have the Six of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles, and also the Ten of Pentacles here. So there could be some sort of um, shift in your career that it, that is looking like really good for you here, like something that you may let go of and um, embrace something that may be you know better suited to you, but it's something that you can also practically manifest. So. Um, six of Swords, and it's funny that the Eight of Cups would be your opportunity right next to the overall energy, Six of Swords. You know, the Six of Swords, um, it's an energy of like leaving things behind, like moving from choppy waters to calmer waters here. And your overall energy here, I think like you guys have, put in, have been putting in a lot of hard work here that is really going to start to pay off for you in your career, Scorpio. Um, I think what you don't see coming, there could be some sort of like... If you're in like a corporate environment like they could like shift your department like i'm just getting that vibe like if you're a teacher they could like you could you could start working at a different school that like is better for you like the the vibe that i'm sensing here scorpio is like you were in a position in your career where it was very emotionally dissatisfying and that was actually coming through last week which makes sense that why this week the star is all about healing so it's almost like for a lot of you it's like something to do with money maybe even love here where your social circle where you don't change it completely, but there's a big shift within it that grants you a lot of more freedom, which seems, or like at least there's going to be an opportunity for it, which seems pretty good. So um, we move down here to what you don't see coming. You have the star, the death, and also the seven of um, pentacles. I don't know like why I'm getting this energy. It's almost like someone leaves your life and like you just, you, you feel like, oh my God, that was like the missing puzzle piece that like just allows me to be happy because I mean, in the advice from your spirit guides, you have the three of cups the nine of cups and also the chariot so this is to like celebrate really enjoy this frequency of some sort of major shift happening for you that you did not see coming the star i think something to do with your money here like this could be like some sort of like unknown way that like good fortune comes back to you here in your life now the death card is what you don't see coming the centerpiece to your reading but i'm telling you whatever is leaving your life here it's so it's just like 
it's it's seamless the way that it transitions because the opportunity the eight of cups is like that represents an energy of like it's yeah you're kind of ready to go the six of swords may indicate that yeah there's some sort of like um annoyance like with this letting go of the death card like some sort of phase ending but it's overall it's just this is a really opulent like brilliant reading scorpio so a lot of you can expect good things unexpected um a removal of someone like i'm telling you like someone you work with is just going to be like fired or like you're going to be moving departments or like you're going to even be starting your own thing which is what last reading was all about um which you know they say you find the one you love doing what you love so the lovers popping out um or just in a better place so let's go ahead and clarify why the eight of cups is here in your opportunity for the 21st to the 27th scorpio Okay, the Eight of Cups in your um, opportunity is clarified by the Four of Swords here. Um, so there's some sort of decision that um, it's almost like, once again, some sort of burden that you've been dealing with, you've been trying to go within. It's finally time. Some sort of physical action takes place in the physical world, which... Um, it, 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 there's some sort of physical shift here with all these pentacles, all this movement. So the four of swords, you know, traditionally is all about like waiting contemplation. So whatever this move that happens, this opportunity is most likely something that you've been meditating on Scorpio, like something that you knew was going to happen eventually, but I just don't think you expected it to happen this quick um, or this seamless either. Um, now let's also go ahead and clarify why the six of swords is here in your uh, overall general energy for the 21st to the 27th. Why is the uh, Six of Swords here? Why is the Six of Swords here for Scorpio? Okay, the Six of Swords is clarified by the Tower okay in your overall general energy so you do have the death card here this is kind of like a major purge that you're going to go through here scorpio which really lines you up it, it almost like it's almost like it's something that allows you to get your values in order because the tower represents like long-held beliefs that we've had some sort of safety net some sort of thing that's been built up over time which also indicates that four of swords that stability in your life that uh it seems like you make a transition out of now this could have to do with your values, like making a shift in that regard for some of you. But um, so don't be afraid if something shakes up this week. I think it's going to lead to a lot of not only emotional fulfillment, but like, you know, career expansion as well in your overall energy. So it just seems very good here, whatever's going on in the developments. Um, let's also clarify why the uh, Ten of Pentacles is here in your overall general energy for this week. Some of you may have recently changed your like your location with your job or your career and you just like love it. Um, like it's almost like an energy like you don't gotta worry about money anymore. You know, like and if that's not where you're at, like set the intention because it is in your cards, literally. Okay, so the Ten of Pentacles is clarified by the Death card here. So this is kind of what I was sensing um, last week in your reading, where it was it was some sort of transition, right? The Death, the Tower, double Death card to the Ten of Pentacles. This is an ending to some sort of long something that's been in your life for a long time that you may have ha had to work really hard to create. And although this transition is happening, I almost sense like once again some sort of opportunity, at least for a, a seamless transition, where. If one thing ends with some sort of career, you have an opportunity to slide into another one. But the death card coming out twice is maybe, you know, in, in your, what you don't see coming, the seven of pentacles is kind of all about like um, thinking about what you've done, right? Um, like kind of rethinking uh, hard work, paying off harvest, that type of stuff. So just be aware that there is some sort of major shakeup for you this week, but it leads to emotional fulfillment for sure, okay? It may have to do with your finances, but 
even if you're struggling financially this week because of this ending, the universe is kind of saying you're going to be just fine, okay? You're, because this is part of your destiny with the star card. Let's, and that's why the, the Ace of Pentacles is your here and your challenge. It makes sense. So some sort of like, you know, because I don't sense you having financial problems for a long time. I really don't. Um, why is the Ace of Pentacles here in your challenge, Scorpio? The Ace of Pentacles, ten of, 10 of Swords. So I don't know what it is that's coming to an end here, but it may be a change in your value system. Like you may, you may choose to downgrade. Um, the Three of Cups to the Nine of Cups is like, you choose to live for the now instead of constantly projecting yourself into the future. You know, like instead of like always like needing to like start something new, you just realize that like maybe sometimes minimalist, the minimalist lifestyle may serve you better, especially with that eight of cups and your opportunity is what that's all about. So whatever's coming to an end here, I think it's also gonna allow you, right? That death to the 10 of uh, pentacles, this 10 of swords is just, it's gonna allow room for you to move in a different direction. Maybe start like a more heart-based career, something that your heart is really in that you would do it anyway, even if you didn't earn money from it. And in what you don't see coming the star, you know, that's what that's all about. Like finding your life purpose, a sense of renewal after. So you guys, you know, with the star here, and especially with the advice and spirit, like you guys are gonna be fresh. You're gonna be fresh as a daisy. Most times Scorpio with like all these endings or something, whatever's going on in your value system, like you're gonna move in a different career direction because of this ending or just transfer and something like that. Like most people are gonna be like shook by that. Like they're gonna, they're gonna like stay inside for six months. You're gonna stay inside for like six minutes and be like, okay, like let's go to the next thing. So that's like something that's a very positive trait in you that I think is good and obviously you know, the, your own energy being in the street and too all over the place, right, Scorpio? So, um, <laughs> so this has to do with you, but let's go ahead also and clarify why this, um, why the star is here. Why is the star here in what you don't see coming? two cards wanted to come out the star is clarified by the ace of wands and also the eight of wands uh this is very big energy this is about following your inspiration and doing it very quickly you've been you know this is all about acting on your passion which is what leads you to the path that you're meant to be on because the way that you communicate with the spirit or your higher self the higher mind the universe god whatever you want to call it is through the feeling that we call excitement or passion that feeling of like electricity that rocks through your body scorpio um you're letting go of something that no longer produces that spark for you and so it was meant to go bye bye and you may feel like there's a lot of uncertainty in your life, but you just don't even give a shit. Like Spirit is saying, don't even give a shit about the uncertainty because like all you have is the present moment, Scorpio. I feel like there was a phase like where you were living for the future and now you're just rooted in the present moment and like kind of doing something for its own sake. Okay, and that's what usually leads to success. Like even uh, personally me with these tarot reading, Scorpio, like I never set out to be a tarot reader ever. A year before I even posted any tarot readings, I was like, just holding the cards in my hand like like literally like 12 hours a day like doing readings for myself it was something that no one told me i had to do it <laughs> what the hell star and, and the star and so that's what happens when you do something for its own stake like when you're not worried about money and you just do something because you love it that's when you become a star i believe that's why my channel is successful because like i said i just i was obsessed with something and it wasn't for like any sort of like reason of like oh it was just like something natural. So you're moving into to kind of what we call a water relationship with your purpose in life. And you're getting out of something called the Coca-Cola relationship. Something that you're always living for the future. You're always, 
it's like sugary, it's like short and sweet, but it doesn't really fulfill you long term. This is something that may not be as spicy as you were doing before in terms of like physical life, but it's something that will lead to the complete package for you because when you follow your comp your passion, not only are you emotionally fulfilled, because when you're emotionally fulfilled, you're putting out such a strong vibration that you will manifest a financial abundance once again. So it's just up to you to have courage to let go of this energy, whatever is no longer working in your life, Scorpio. Um, rethinking where you've been going and moving in a much more fulfilled, inspired direction, listening less to the, dict to the dictates of the logical mind and more listening to the dictates of your soul, um, which may conflict with your logical mind, but just be aware that in general, as long as it's not disguised by anxiety, your, your excitement is the direction you need to move in. So let's also go ahead and clarify why these cards are here in the advice from spirit. Um, let's see why the nine of cups is here. Um, the, the cloth being on the table in this nine of cups card represents there's something hidden. So you're moving in a direction that it may be hidden to you because once again, when you listen to your passion, you don't generally logically think things through as much. And so you know you're moving in a positive direction based on the way you feel, not necessarily what you can see. Okay, so just be aware that there's something hidden here, but um, enough blibber blabber. Why is this nine of cups here? You see the blue cloth on the table there. Okay, uh, Scorpio, so we have the Knight of Cups clarified by the uh, Nine of Cups here. So this is almost like about romanticizing your life and realizing that like all you have is your own consciousness and the story that you tell yourself about your life is what usually comes true about it. So this says like hope for the best, realize that you do, you do deserve the best, Scorpio. And if you've been conditioned into believing that you have to be like a slave your whole life and do something that you hate, and it's very hard to manifest like new relationships, like you're just exiting, like you're just not believing in the myth that society has told you anymore. And you're just like going your own way. This is almost like maybe a bit of a spiritual awakening, maybe less psychedelic, but more practical, more in terms of your action, which I think is more grounded and maybe even important than that stuff. So I see a lot of, you know, have fun with your friends, like, Surround yourself with people who do who have the same mission as you in life, Scorpio, always, and realize you're divinely protected with the advice from spirit. As you move out of this situation with the ace, the eight of cups and the, this death energy and you, you follow your passion, you are divinely protected, okay? So you have an ability to move forward, move backwards. It's a lot of um, speed though. Like you're moving fast in this, right? Ace of wands, eight of wands, chariot, knight of cups, like, you are certainly not just chilling this week. So whatever happens, I wish you the best of luck, Scorpio. Um, if you want more information on this situation or your life in general, feel free to book a personal reading with me. You can find all the information on that in the description box underneath this video. But I hope you enjoyed this reading and I'll talk to you next time. This is the